Hello friends, my name is Sandesh and today I am going to talk about equation of state in Python. So we will create equation of state using quantum space room and atomic simulation environment. The animation that you just saw, that animation I have created in atomic simulation environment and today I will show you how you can create such an animation in atomic simulation environment. So let's begin with the equation of state. So let's see what is equation of state. So equation of state describes the relation between volume, pressure and energy of any material. Okay. So why do we determine the equation of state? Because it helps to uh, determine the equilibrium lattice constant and bulk modulus of any material. Okay. So we will determine the equation of state for the nickel oxide in this uh, tutorial. I will show you how you can determine the equation of state using quantum espresso and atomic simulation environment so let's understand the procedure so initially we will create a structure of nickel oxide then we will uh, change its lattice parameter by reducing it by 5% we will change the lattice parameter uh, by increasing by 5% from its original position for from this structure to this structure we will create almost 10 images of equivalent size and for each image we will calculate the volume and energy for the each image after that we will create equation of state and we will try to plot this type of graph okay so this is the procedure so in our code we will first initially import all the necessary libraries we will require numpy to build a structure we will require bulk to apply potential we will use emt potential or uh, in this lecture i will show you how we can use quantum espresso so that now to trace the trajectory of all the atom we will use import trajectory we will use equation of state by given by atomic simulation environment to read or write the structure we will use atomic asc.io import read and to convert the bulk modulus in Pascal, we will use in, uh, ASC dot unit import kj. Okay, so this is inbuilt uh, conversion factor which we will use to convert the bulk modulus in terms of Pascal or Giga Pascal. Okay. Next thing is to create a structure. So I will use a lattice parameter A is equal to 1.4 sorry 4.186 as a lattice constant and I will create one object NIO which will read the structure NIO in CI format okay next I will define the pseudo potential which I am going to use for the calculation I am going to use uh, ultra soft pseudo potential for my calculation for quantum espresso calculation I will list down all the parameter which I will use for the calculation pseudo potential verbosity k points cutoff wave function cutoff uh, density mixing beta and magnetization okay so how to create such a file i have talked about this in last lecture next i will assign a calculator to my object nio okay so this is my calculator espresso and I will assign this calculator to my object NIO. Now to trace the trajectory of my all the atoms in my object NIO, I will use trajectory so that I can trace all the trajectories of my atom. Also in cell uh, variable, I will get the cell parameter of my object NIO. Now this is important part. In this part, I will change my lattice parameter by reducing it by 5% and expanding it to the 5% and in between I will create a 10 images. So if I, if my lattice parameter is 4, so I will reduce it by 5%. This is my first image and I will expand it by 5%. That will be my 10th image and in between I will create equivalent 8 images. So I will have total 10 images. Okay. And for each images, I will calculate the SCF calculation. And for each image, I will uh, get the trajectory of my all atom in NIO object. Okay, so I will write trash dot write NIO. <coughs> 
next thing is to get all the information from my trajectory uh, which i have already assigned to my object nio okay so i will read the uh, trajectory of my object nio and i will assign it to the configs okay so this config contain the all the trajectory information which is assigned to the nio so i will fetch the volume and energy from my object nio by writing nio dot get volume and nio dot get potential energy from my object next thing is to fit the equation of state for that i will use one argument i will use one variable equation of state which will call the function equation of state with the argument volume and energy and equation of state type this volume and energy are fetched in the previous these two lines okay and equation of state is birch morgan type okay so i will get volume energy and bulk modulus once i call equation eos dot fit function okay now equation of state can be used different also if you want to sj equation of state you can use sj eos if you want to tailor uh, function third order tailor function then in, you can use tailor function also if you want to birch morgan equation of state you can use birch morgan equation of state or else you can use winnet or polynomial third order equation of state can be also used considering the particular problem of your research you can use this particular equation of state now next thing is to calculate the bulk modulus and the lattice constant so bulk modulus is already fetched in this uh, uh, line where we are fetching volume energy and bulk modulus by calling eos dot fit function so bulk modulus is now converted into the giga pascal and lattice constant is getting by in minimum volume where the we we have got the lowest energy the cube root of that minimum volume and after that we will print all this information and we will plot eos dot plot and whatever name you want to give you can save by using in png format so this is the uh, structure of your program so this is the structure of your program now i will show you how we can run this program and i will show you the output <clears throat> okay friends so this is the code which i have shown you in my ppt slides the only difference is that i have used an emt potential instead of a quantum espresso because quantum espresso will take much time but that code can be used by using quantum espresso and it will give you a very precise uh, results now let's run this one okay let me clear so i will run my code okay so here you can see the equilibrium lattice constant is given 4.3203 armstrong and bulk modulus is 147.17 giga pascal okay this could not be a accurate result but this accurate result can be obtained by using quantum espresso as a calculator okay uh, let me show you the equation of state also okay here you can see this is the energy versus volume plot and here it is bulk modulus and volume is given by using birch morgan equation of state okay else you can use other also uh, if you want to use polynomial fitting of third order you can use p3 okay you can use p3 and let me run this again now you can see the bulk modulus and lattice con constant has changed when i use the polynomial fitting of third order okay if i use taylor if i use taylor function of third order let let's see what will be the output so let me run again here you can see again the lattice constant and bulk modulus has changed okay so according to the problem you can use any one of this equation of state fitting uh, as per your convenience okay let me show you the equation of state also so this is the plot now i will show you how you can uh, create that 
now i will show you how you can create that animation where i have created five images where i have uh, reduced the lattice constant by five percent and increased by five percent okay for that i have to use asc gui ase gui okay so let me open nio.trash file okay so this is the structure and you have to go to the tool and just go to the movie and play okay so this is the animation okay friends so today i show you how you can use burr newton equation of state fitting by using atomic simulation environment uh, in next lecture i will show you how you can create a structure by using reading or writing the CIF file or by using bulk or atom or molecule object in atomic simulation environment. If you think I am giving you a valuable content, please like the video and consider to subscribe my channel. Thank you.